My name is Lisa Federer, and I'm a health and life sciences librarian at the UCLA Louise M. Darling Biomedical Library. In addition to my responsibilities as a liaison librarian, I also recently started work as a research informationist thanks to funding from the National Institutes of Health and the National Library of Medicine, working with the team of Dr. Warren Grunfest. They're working on a project that investigates the use of terahertz or THC lasers to measure corneal hydration, and I have had the great opportunity to join their team as their research informationist. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I do with their team and also about the outreach efforts that I did in obtaining this grant and the new partnerships I formed as a result. Although we've only been working together for a short time, the team and I have already identified several different challenges that we hope to address and have started to put plans into place for how we intend to do that. So first off, the biggest challenge that we face is that their data exists in lots of different places in lots of different formats. Like most research teams, they have a paper lab notebook where they actually write down the results of their experiments. And this lab notebook has about four years worth of data in it right now. So we need to figure out a way to digitize that for preservation purposes and also to make it a little bit easier for them to analyze it. But in addition to the paper lab notebook, they also have a lot of images that go along with their experiments. A lot of these images are in proprietary systems and these systems are not connected. So for each experiment, there's the data that they wrote down, there's an image from the camera, there's a proteomics image describing the proteins, and there's a histology image, all of which are in different systems, all of which have different file names, and there's no connection between any of them, even though they're all about the same experiment. So the challenge is to figure out how we can get all of this data into one place. One of the ways that we've explored doing that is through some sort of an electronic lab notebook system or a database program. But the thing that's really important to me is finding a way to work whatever solution we come up with into their existing data workflows so that they're not forced to change how they do their work in the lab. They're never going to adopt a system if it's going to be a lot more work for them. So we're looking at different ways of digitizing existing data and gathering data digitally moving forward. Another challenge that we've identified is that this is sort of an emerging technology, terahertz lasers. And as more researchers start to do research in this area, it's going to be important for them to have standards, particularly about metadata that they should be gathering about their experiment. Terahertz lasers have application both in medical fields and elsewhere, like security imaging and non-destructive evaluation of art. So one of the things that we would like to do is to either adapt or design some sort of a metadata standard that researchers in this field throughout the world could use in their experiments. This would allow researchers to share data more efficiently, it would allow them to replicate the experiments that other groups have done, and it would also help contextualize data for people who are reading about the experiments. So finally, another very simple challenge that we're facing is that the researchers are scientists and not librarians, so they don't really know about the best data management practices. So it's been an easy fix for me to go into their lab and talk to them about what they should be doing to back up and preserve their data and simple things they could be doing to make their data a little bit more meaningful for people outside of their own group. And they've found it really interesting to learn more about how data should and could be organized. Beyond the work that I'm doing with Dr. Grunfest's team, the grant opportunity was really a good chance to forge some new partnerships and create some new opportunities for myself here at UCLA. First of all, when I found out about this grant, I really wanted to let researchers know that this was an opportunity that they could apply for this funding to have a research informationist on their team. So I partnered with the Office of Research Administration and Office of Contract and Grant Administration here at UCLA so that they could help me get the word out to researchers who would be eligible for this funding. Out of that, I now have contacts at these offices and am able to work more closely with them so that they can let me know about opportunities that are available and I can let them know about opportunities that I hear about. I also had a chance to contact a lot of researchers individually and we ended up putting forward three proposals, one of which was selected, but even the proposals that were not selected for this funding, I've now started relationships with those researchers and have started doing some work with them. For example, one of the groups that did not get funding, I'm continuing to work with them on a systematic review as their expert searcher. So even though the funding was not successful in all cases, 
the outreach opportunities were great in forming some new relationships. Thank you.